Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia Divorce. Today we're going to be talking about how to preserve your credit in a divorce. So one of the most common questions I get right now on my cases is how do I preserve my credit whenever uh, I'm going through a divorce, we have all of these accounts that are in one person's name or both names or just his or just hers. How do I navigate that and how do I make sure that going forward after after the divorce is over uh, that my credit is going to be preserved and and I think the answer to that is it really you need to make sure if at all possible that to, if you want to ensure that it's preserved is that you are solely responsible for the payment so for example let's say you have a a piece of uh, like credit card or a piece of property that has a mortgage against it what will, and let's say both of your names are on that debt. One thing that the family court does not have the authority to do is transfer the debt from one person's name to the other. So somebody's gonna have to be responsible for that payment. So you need to make sure that if at all possible, you are going to be responsible for making that, that payment on that debt. Now, it might not be practical. Let's say that, for example, all of the debts are in your name. If all of the debts are in your name and um, and all of the debts are uh, none of the debts are in that the other person's name what's going to happen is you have to make a choice whether you can afford to make these payments and if you can't the other person is going to have to be responsible for those and that's one of the things you always have to factor into these cases is how do I preserve my credit you can preserve it if you're solely responsible for that particular uh, debt now, one thing that you can also do is throughout the divorce process, if let's say that you are responsible for, uh, you, you wanna preserve your credit, what you can do is you can either come to an agreement or you can take some of the money that you're gonna be awarded an equitable distribution and use that to pay off debts. So obviously, if you have a credit card debt worth, I don't know, let's say 3,500 and you're awarded um, a few thousand dollars in the divorce that was let's say, let's say let's say it was sitting in a bank account or was elsewhere he or she had to directly pay you that money what you can do is you can take the money and you can actually pay off that debt so that's one way that you could resolve that issue but it's something you really need to be thinking about and what you can do too is you can do some just basic financial planning going into the future you can just try to tally up all the debts and then figure out is my name on this debt? Am I jointly responsible for this debt? And sometimes people don't have a good idea on it. And that's something that you need to be working on right now is trying to figure out whether the debt is in uh, the other person's name or my name or both of our names. So, and that basically sums up what we do when it comes to debt and how you can most effectively preserve your credit. So if you have any questions about this topic or any other topics, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. My email address is chris at pritlaw.com and the telephone number is 304-720-4412. I hope everybody has a great day.